York City is in the midst of a heat wave, but Ivanka Trump somehow managed to keep cool while rolling a suitcase out of Manhattan apartment in a long sleeve dress. The 35-year-old outfitted herself in a $3,000 Alexander McQueen frock on Monday for her appearance on Fox and Friends, but just a few hours later, she traded her weather-appropriate sleeveless dress for a more buttoned-up look. Although the weather is expected to soar to 95 degrees, Ivanka donned a long sleeve collared dress that was buttoned up to her neck and billowed past her knees as she headed to the airport for her flight back to Washington, D.C. The mother of three left her long blonde hair down around her shoulders, and she paired her look with black pumps and sunglasses. Despite the extremely warm temperatures, Ivanka looked relaxed as she rolled her purple suitcase past her doorman. While her luggage was being placed in the silver SUV that was waiting at the curb for her, Ivanka smiled and waved to the photographers waiting outside the door of her Park Avenue apartment. After hopping in the SUV, Ivanka rested her elbow on the window as she waited for her driver to make his way through the traffic. Ivanka kicked off the week with a rare television interview, sitting down with the hosts of Fox and Friends to rave about the work her father's administration is doing, dismiss his detractors, and bemoan her new job working in the swamp. It was a surprisingly blunt and candid chat, with Ivanka being asked at one point by host Brian Kilmeade if her new role as President Trump's assistant was harder than she thought it would be at first. It is hard. And there is a level of viciousness that I was not expecting, said Ivanka. I was not expecting the intensity of this experience, but this isn't supposed to be easy. My father's administration intends to be transformative, and we want to do big bold things. We're looking to change the status quo. She then went on to say, so, I didn't expect it to be easy. I think some of the distractions and some of the ferocity I was a little blindsided by on a personal level. Ivanka also explained that despite everything that is going on around her, she is still managing to stay focused on the task at hand I'm trying to keep my head down, not listen to the noise, and just work really hard to make a positive impact in the lives of many people, explained Ivanka. I mean, if you want to at the end of the day, if you want to think about difficult, it's the factory worker who has been laid off. Difficult is, you know, the mother who has lost a child to opioid abuse. Ivanka explained that those real challenges put things in perspective for her and said that she has been enjoying the optimism she is seeing in people across the country as a result of her father's work as president. They see the economy, and it's just booming. Small businesses have this sense of just vigor, and, you know, I was talking with somebody the other day who was referring to it as the animal spirit, said Ivanka. Small business owner has been released. So there is a tremendous energy, but there is also real challenges. And that's what we're looking to address. For her appearance, Ivanka wore the same exact look she busted out back in July at the Republican National Convention, pairing a $3,000 Alexander McQueen box pleat sheath with $900 white agate drop earrings with diamond from her namesake jewelry collection. She changed things up a bit by wearing a pair of her $120 Ivanka Trump suede heels in nude and a $2,200 mother of pearl ring with diamonds from her defunct high-end jewelry line. Ivanka also carried a $275 Soho tote in white from her handbag collection as she headed out on Monday. The conversation that took a sharp turn as host Ainsley Earhart I asked Ivanka about her first foreign trip last month, which took her to Saudi Arabia, Israel, and Italy. Ivanka raved about the trip and her husband, saying Jared was instrumental in organizing and planning the overseas tour. It was wildly successful. Saudi Arabia alone, if you think about the historic nature of gathering 54 Muslim and Arab leaders to talk about the goal of eradicating terrorism. Collective effort, said Ivanka. It was amazing the leadership that my father showed, the way he was able to foster really dialogue. Ivanka also took some time to speak about last week's appearance by James Comey in front of the Senate Intel Committee, revealing that her father felt vindicated after hearing the former FBI director's testimony and is now incredibly optimistic about the future. She was then asked about her experience visiting the Western Wall in the wake of her conversion to Judaism. Every day in this experience has been surreal, but that was truly an unbelievable moment, said Ivanka. So I feel blessed and privileged to have been there it was deeply personal for me as you notice standing at the Western Wall in a moment of privacy, because it was really just us, said Ivanka. It was our family that was there. It was beyond special.
Ivanka later pointed out that the group then moved on to Rome to meet with the Pope, so they were able to cover the three largest world religions over the course of four days. It was deeply meaningful, said Ivanka, who explained that she still struggled trying to find the words to adequately be able to describe these moments. Ivanka took time to address the rumors of a feud between her husband and White House staff as well, blaming it on the salacious details perpetuated by the media. She then noted that Jared loves his job, adding, talk about impact. That is when Ivanka launched into a lengthy diatribe about what Jared is working on these days. You know, aside from what he is doing on the foreign policy front there are the various initiatives he is focused on at home, really thinking about modernizing and innovating within government, explained Ivanka. And it just shows, you know, there is a real focus on getting things done. And getting big things done. Ivanka meanwhile is keeping focused on both her her job and her three children, Arabella, Joseph, and one-year-old, Theodore. The mom said that she loves the family's new $5.5 million home in the city's Calorama district. D.C. has been an amazing place. The kids are thriving, revealed Ivanka. And ultimately for me, that's the number one most important thing. If the kids weren't happy, it would be very hard for me. And with that Ivanka headed off, with the first daughter making a brief return ahead of her tour of the Waukesha County Technical College in Wisconsin on Tuesday. She was in the city over the weekend for her sister-in-law Lara's baby shower, which she attended with daughter Arabella. Ivanka and the five-year-old were spotted leaving their Nick apartment to attend the gathering with Jared and Joseph, who split up for a boy's day, while the girls were out. Not in attendance at the shower, however was the first lady, with Melania busy this weekend making the move to Washington, D.C. with her 11-year-old son Baron. The pair will be joining Donald in the White House for the rest of his time in office with Melania opting to let Barron finish her school year first before they move down 